Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are here at the offices of Orange Resources, and with me here is Ivan Bebek, who wants to give us, of course, an update. And as you know, we have been here for the Vancouver Resource Investment Conference. Very interesting. Ross Beatty featured Orange Resources of one of the, yeah, I would call it favor, his favorite companies, right? Ivan, welcome. Thanks uh, for being here in your office. And yeah, let's dive directly with the comment from Ross Beatty into it. I think uh, to be mentioned at the conference from him, that's uh, quite a good thing, right? Thank you very much. Yeah, you know, um, I met Ross when we we're selling Caden, yeah. and he's uh, been extremely generous with some advice and his time. And um, you know, he's a, he's a legend in the industry. He's done mm -hmm. so well. I think he sold 14 or 15 companies, and you know, somebody I, I look up to a lot personally. Yeah. And um, when monetizing a uh, share price for shareholders, but uh, his comment at the Vancouver conference was incredible. It was a great accolade, mm -hmm. not only to myself personally, but to the company and what it's up to. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, um, our projects are more exploration focused, mm -hmm. but they most certainly have the scale and the opportunity and, and we're led by science. And I think those are the mm -hmm. things that, yeah. that maybe got his attention to be supportive that way. <laughs> Absolutely great. I interviewed Ross, by the way, also, and it was okay. really interesting, I must say, what he had to say about gold and the markets. Okay. No, so fantastic. Um, Let's go a bit of an update of the company. We spoke the last time at Mines and Money in November, I think, mm -hmm. but since then some good things happened. And maybe you want to explain why is the age dating so important? Let's say aside your financing. Sure. <laughs> uh, well, um, look, um, Sombrero, the, yeah. whole, the whole idea of Sombrero is the other half of the Las Bombas yeah. belt, right? Las Bombas, Tintai, Antikapai, it's called the Andawala Shiori belt. Mm -hmm. And everybody in the world before us, including all the major mining companies we're talking to now, they thought the rocks were too young. They're covered by volcanics. A mm -hmm. thin layer of volcanoes erupted the ash land on the rocks. Mm -hmm. So you can't see very many rocks, right? And so the government came through and told mm -hmm. everybody that rocks were too young. They were Miocene. So nobody looked here before us. Mm -hmm. We went there and there's a couple erosional windows where the volcanic ash eroded and we have exposure and we're sampling 109 meters of 0.7, 232 meters of 0.5 and a half percent copper mm -hmm. equivalent. Mm -hmm. Same as the mines next door. But most of our targets are still covered. So we can only really see like the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. And the big question we had was, if we're going to explore here and we think we're onto the other half of this belt, which has some of the largest mines in Peru and in the world, you know, is it the right type of rocks? So we mm -hmm. saw the copper, we've seen the gold, mm -hmm. but the intrusion that formed these potential, the mineralization or the mm -hmm. potential deposits, it took place at the exact same time as all the major deposits mm -hmm. next door because most of our property is covered. Now we have a lot of confidence, mm -hmm. a lot more confidence mm -hmm. that many of these areas are going to be very fertile and productive. Mm -hmm. with Absolutely. And as we know, Mother Nature is uh, replicating normally then, right? Well, it's, you, 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 you can't say replicating <laughs> if you're in a different yeah. time frame, right? Yeah. So being in the same time frame as the big deposits, is mm -hmm. it's the whole paramount reason yeah. why Sombrero existed as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. People thought it was younger. It's not. It's mm -hmm. the exact same age as the major mines. Mm -hmm. And we have hundreds of meters of copper and gold on surface. So we're yeah. extremely excited and our confidence has gone up a lot. Super. So that was announced on Friday yeah. and we did that um, not only for ourselves and investors, but also for the major mining companies that may not have been aware of that. So now there's been several, several have paid attention and a lot of technical people have come into us with a big compliment mm -hmm. that we're in the right age era of rock. So it's been very positive for mm -hmm. us. Super. So that's another good proof of concept, of huge, course. Huge. And uh, proof, I would say, um, of your fantastic properties you have. Yeah. And uh, of course, to work them further out, drill permits are needed and money is needed. Maybe you can comment first on the drill permits. What's the status there? So what we're waiting for right mm -hmm. now, and anybody who's a shareholder knows this, is called a DIA. Is mm -hmm. the environmental permit. Mm -hmm. It's not the final drill permit, mm -hmm. but it's the big one. You know, the next phase is, is quite short and it's very straightforward. It's a social phase, which mm -hmm. we've done incredible social works so we're confident about. Mm -hmm. um, we expect the DIA, uh, if not the end of this week, sometime next week, by the end of January. And for everyone that thinks this DIA is taking an excessively long period of time, it's if it happens in January, it'll be in month seven. It'll be seven months since we've started. Mm -hmm. The fastest DIA achieved in Peru in the last two years was nine months. So we're actually on track to be one mm -hmm. of the quickest deals achieved Super. due to the elaborate work that we've done. Um, we are very anxious to drill. The targets are huge, mm -hmm. but we're hurrying, being very, very anxious while we're patient for yeah. the drilling. But I, I'd expect news in January mm -hmm. on the DIA. And then uh, then we're in the last phase, which takes a couple months mm -hmm. to get the social permits. And we should mm -hmm. be drilling in April, May. Super. Perfect. And uh, yeah, when, when you start drilling, how long does it take when you get first results, maybe? Oh, I could take it in three weeks. Three Super. weeks. Okay, so, so it's um, all fast. It's 
fast. On the fast track, yeah. 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 So, so one point I'll make there is mm-hmm. I've talked too much about permits for the last seven months yeah. because we found these great targets. We have this great yeah. concept. It got better. We have more yeah. confidence with yeah. the age dating. Now it's even stronger, but what we've set up in the background, which the market may not be aware of, is we're setting ourselves up so we can drill for 18 months consecutively or maybe mm-hmm. longer. So we're doing a lot of other pre-permitting stuff for other targets. We're doing mm-hmm. more community access. Mm-hmm. So what we're doing is we're hoping that we don't have to talk about permitting and interviews going forward. We can talk more about drill <laughs> About results, results please. Yes, yeah, absolutely. that's good. Good results, hopefully. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> Great, fantastic. So you announced also a financing. We, we um, did. Yeah, we that did. That is um, already in the anticipation of the drill permits and that you can go full throttle, right? You, you know what? Um, Last year, we raised $10 million ourselves, yeah. and um, we've been very selective. And I have to thank all of our shareholders, mm-hmm. because that's truly going to be a big part of our success and the premium that we're going to achieve on the success that we have. Mm-hmm. Um, we've been very selective on who we put into large positions mm-hmm. in our company. Um, we talked about a marquee investor. I won't talk about who it is until after mm-hmm. the financing's done. But um, we got the best people we could possibly get for this financing. This financing gives us 18 months of working capital. If we decide to use some of it for drilling, that's an option and shorten our working capital, we can do that. Mm-hmm. Um, it gives us a lot of optionality. The money's gonna last a long time, um, or we can go back to market for a little bit of a top up mm-hmm. on the back of drill permits, right? Mm-hmm. But right now we, we don't have to say the word financing for 18 months. Mm-hmm. We had a, a bridge loan mm-hmm. for $3 million to one of our large mm-hmm. investors. And if you read the press release, it's now a convertible. Mm-hmm. So we can now convert that. So mm-hmm. there'll be no more debt. That's also there'll no be pressure. No pressure. Mm-hmm. The share shareholder base has gotten stronger. It's getting stronger. These are highly accretive investors Mm -hmm. for the company. That's what we were looking for. Mm -hmm. So we were patient and we waited to a little bit better market to get better money. And we're very happy with us buying the finance. Um, I remember also we were talking a little bit uh, uh, at the conference about optionality. I mean, you have so many projects, you have so many uh, possibilities to do something. Yeah, I mean, obviously Peru is, is like a big boy, I would call it. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, but also you have Homestake on the other hand, Committee Bay. You want to comment a bit on that? Sure, absolutely. Um, you know, we started this portfolio at the beginning of the market, and our goal was to go find huge discoveries. Our geologist team mm. is from Newmont. We want to find tier one discoveries, world class deposits. We have Committee Bay. Mm-hmm. We have Homestake in Canada. Yeah high grade gold in Canada. We have Sombrero and then we have Kiribati, which took everybody by surprise. Mm-hmm. If you look at our press releases on Kiribati, some of the most spectacular silver numbers so far that the world has seen. We started working on Kiribati recently. In the next few weeks, you're gonna see a lot more results from there. It keeps getting better and it keeps getting bigger. Mm-hmm. So what we see in ourselves now is we see three companies in one. And if you've ever watched my presentations, I've had to present three companies in one, mm-hmm. Canada Gold, Sombrero, and then Kiribati. Yeah. And so that is not only confusing for the average investor, it's expensive by burn rate and different investors like mm-hmm. different projects. Mm-hmm. What we're thinking about, and this is conceptually, we need a little bit more conviction out of Kiribati, but we're thinking about we could potentially split our company into three shares, mm-hmm. a Canada share, a Sombrero share, and a Kiribati share. Mm-hmm. And a couple of principles there. We need confidence in the project, We're waiting for the final confidence in Curry Bio that it could be standalone. We, we hope to have that. Um, Sombrero has got multiple mines that could be mm. found there many years of drilling before we know. So that's very clearly standalone. Homestake Ridge, uh, we're going to work towards some economic studies to show the market the real value mm. that we've talked about for that mm-hmm. project. Yeah. And Committee Bay is a bull market gold project. So a perfect world, you would end up with three shares for every mm. orange share. Um, we would split it in three. We're going into a bull market for commodities. I think the whole world is starting to see Definitely, that. Yeah. And so if you're ever going to split your company in three and try to make much more money for shareholders, yeah. I think by virtue of timing, it would be into a good market condition. So a bit more conviction out of Curry Baya, but I think uh, you know we're going we're gonna to consider it real seriously at the end of this quarter. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Wow. That's pretty fast. I think that's a, a yeah, heavy work load program, I would call it. Mm-hmm. And do you have the money now? Yeah, we you have the, add something. We have the money yeah. and just the two things I'd like to add is um, one is the news flow is going to pick up considerably. Definitely. There's yeah. a lot of stuff we started doing already this mm-hmm. year. I, I mentioned Curry Baya. Mm. There's going to be a lot of news with more access at Sombrero. Mm-hmm. More targets coming on the on the at the same time we're getting our drill permits, um, and then at the same time there's a lot of news to come out of Canada specifically on Homestake in March, mm-hmm. sometime in March April. Mm-hmm. Um, the news flow is going to be heavy. 
I've only been on one marketing trip you know, outside of Minds and Money was the only thing I've done in the last four months. Mm. And our share price is maintained about $1.85 per share. I've done several podcasts, mm. but I've been waiting for drill permits or advancements in the permits. Of course. Um, next week, yeah. I go back on the road and I'll be on the road through most of the spring mm -hmm. because there's going to be a lot of developments in our company. All the catalysts that would, could make our share price do well mm. will start happening uh, the following month and uh, right through PDAC and into April, May and drilling on Sombrero, which is going to be very exciting. Super. Well, that's a set. It's a great program, heavy workload. Hopefully the drills are turning soon. We, we keep fingers crossed because that's, that's a key catalyst, I would call it. Absolutely. And uh, you are financed, so everything is well. Then... Do it. Now we're, now we're ready to do it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Looking forward to Thank it. Thank you very much, My Ivan. Pleasure. And we talk at PDAC, of <laughs> course. You. Again. Thank you so Super. much. Absolute yeah, pleasure. ladies and gentlemen, it was Ivan Babek from Orem Resources. And you heard it. The money is there. The money is in the, in the bank. That uh, This is something which is really important these days, of course. And they have a real heavy work program. Wait for the yeah final drill permits then for Sombrero. And uh, to really show the world what is really underground there in the, meaning not underground, but uh, meaning really in the in the rock then finally yeah if you go deeper and uh, yeah lots of optionality also to split the company up in three and i would say check out check it out and thanks for watching us and bye bye from vancouver thank you <laughs>